it was going to be the most powerful tool that humans had yet created. It would change the economy, it would change society in all sorts of ways. Have you ever wondered, in the new world of tech and AI, where everyone can mimic voices and pictures, how we will recognize and verify real humans? Sam Altman's latest innovation, WorldCoin, offers a compelling solution to this modern dilemma. We started this a long time ago with a belief that at the time seemed very unusual, uh, which was that AI progress was about to go very rapid. And we thought that if AI happened, if, if AI fulfilled the dream, uh, we still have a long way to go, but we've made a lot of progress since, then it was going to be the most powerful tool that humans had yet created. It would change the economy, it would change society in all sorts of ways. And the thing that we hoped for the most with AI and the things we wanted to build around AI is that AI would really accelerate people. This idea that AI was a tool that people would use, not an entity on its own, and that people were going to be able to do things in the world that they just couldn't have done before. And we started thinking about the infrastructure that society was going to need if AI really started happening. You know, what, what does it take to get to this great outcome for the world? We could imagine a world back then and even more now with lots of AI tools that let people do far more than they ever could before. WorldCoin. Sam Altman recently spoke at an event where he introduced WorldCoin, a product he co-founded. I believe this product will become increasingly significant in the coming years, especially as AI agents are poised to become more prevalent. For those unfamiliar, WorldCoin is a digital identification platform that plays a crucial role in the potential future of AI agents and digital identity verification. WorldCoin co-founded by Sam Altman, Alex Blenia, and others, aims to create a global identity network by providing users with a digital ID called the World ID. This ID verifies that users are humans, not bots or AI entities. As AI agents, autonomous systems capable of functioning independently, particularly in digital environments, become more common, verifying human identities will become increasingly difficult. This makes WorldCoin essential for ensuring that human users can be distinguished from AI. And we started thinking about the infrastructure that society was going to need if AI really started happening. You know, what, what does it take to get to this great outcome for the world? We could imagine a world back then and even more now with lots of AI tools that let people do far more than they ever could before. Lots of AI agents off doing things. Uh, and one thing we thought for sure is that the world was going to need a new, a new layer of infrastructure um, for this to be able to happen. That you wanted the ability to uh, verify humanity. You wanted to know who the people were. You wanted to be able to provide great infrastructure for humans and agents to be sending resources back and forth and doing all sorts of things and communicating with each other. Four-step plan. Sam shared a four-step infrastructure to build a human network, which they described as follows. And so with that, we came up with a simple plan. And that plan didn't change much since then, and I don't think it will change much going forward. And it had four big steps. That's it. The first one was about building a proof of human system that can be deployed globally. It is fully anonymous. Then second, use that infrastructure to launch a digital token by giving ownership in it to eventually every human and use that to get the, the network to critical scale. And third, continuously scale and decentralize the network to then eventually, among many other great things that we hope this network will do, use it to make the benefits of AI accessible to everyone. And so we, we did one, we developed World ID, which we think is that proof of human on internet scale. We launched a token last July, which brought us to step number two. And so currently we are at three. And that means that a big, big focus of what we do is the continuous scale and decentralization of the network. And Sam, one of the, one of the big things you brought to the company very early on was this conviction about scale. And to me and a couple other team members, back then this felt very scary because it's like very contrary to usual startup advice. That's not what you usually do. But you had a lot of conviction about that and I, gained it over time, but do you want to talk about why yeah. that is? 
This is where Sam Altman talks about why scale is so important. AI models have been getting bigger and bigger, and the phrase scale is all you need has been floating around the AI community for a while now. The main goal here is to scale things up in a way that works, because if they want to reach everyone across the internet, they need to bring as many people on board as possible. Sam Altman highlighted how important scale is, saying that it often brings out unexpected benefits across different areas, whether it's networks, companies, or even crypto projects. He pointed out that people tend to underestimate the power of scale, and one of his go-to lines is, when in doubt, scale it up. While that approach doesn't work for everything, he thinks it's a good rule of thumb. When talking about WorldCoin, Sam stressed that the real test will be seeing what happens when they take it to a massive scale. Even though they've signed up a lot of people already, there's still 99.9% .9 of the world left to onboard. Scale, in his view, is key to building something that works for everyone. Orb The designer of the new Orb explains how it works. If you're wondering what this orb is all about, it's a device that scans your eye to make sure each user is a unique individual. You scan your iris, and in return, you get your world ID. This generates a unique identifier that's stored on a decentralized blockchain, meaning it can't be duplicated. So besides being just incredibly beautiful, it was designed from the ground up with scale in mind. The entire software stack was completely rewritten for all orbs to enable verifications three times faster than before. The new orb was designed with 30% fewer parts and it enables us to assemble them at twice the speed. Initially, we're tripling the production capacity of the orb with plans to increase that even further with new assembly partners and locations around the world. We're making progress towards the ultimate goal of decentralized orb manufacturing. The latest orb is built with uh, the NVIDIA Jetson architecture, which has five times the AI performance over the previous generation. It's capable of 100 trillion operations per second. Security and privacy. According to Sam Altman and the team at WorldCoin, many people concerned about security and privacy might have thought that building a scalable system for millions of users was impossible. Altman mentioned that just a year ago, achieving a scale of 7 million users, let alone a billion, seemed unfeasible. However, when they spoke with the cryptographers at the WorldCoin Foundation, they found the concept intriguing and began to explore its potential. Remco and his team discussed how they could use existing technologies that weren't quite scalable yet. They started experimenting with secure multi-party computation, which they believed could decentralize data across multiple parties, ensuring that no single entity could access it. They developed what they now call anonymized multi-party computation. This technology enables them to verify that a piece of data is unique without revealing individual details. The multi-party aspect is essential, as it breaks the data into pieces that cannot be reassembled, ensuring it remains anonymous. Multi-party is a critical part of multi-party computation, as you might expect, right? And it's important that none of the parties that are going to be holding the data that's necessary for the system to work are going to be centralized. Over the last year, we've worked to find parties that we think provide certain key attributes. They have to be trustworthy. They have to be globally distributed. They have to be independent from one another. At this time, we're announcing three partners who are already beginning the process of standing up infrastructure and onboarding the data that's necessary. Those are Berkeley's Center for Responsible Decentralized Intelligence based here in California. I'm actually a Cal alum myself. FAU based in Germany and Nethermind, a global blockchain and crypto security company that has an incredible amount of respect in that community. In addition to that, we're working with the University of Zurich to finalize terms to begin onboarding them as well. 
By November of this year, we expect that all of the data that is behind World ID will be held by those parties, broken into pieces in such a way that no one of them is able to tell anything about that data other than answering the question, is this unique? Now, there are a lot of things left to mention here, but if you want me to make another video on this topic, please let me know in the comments, and I'll share my thoughts and details in the next video. Until then, watch this video on your screen.